Welcome back guys to your daily Ark Survival Ascended news update. Today console players, I've actually got some better information to share with you. It has been a bit quiet this weekend, but Dolly has actually shared some pretty positive stuff for console players, which hopefully this goes through because I just think it is the best thing possible. It didn't happen for PC launch and I think it would be amazing, especially as console players have had to wait so so long for the game also i have an update on the release dates as well so we're going to be going through all of that and if you guys do enjoy today's video as always make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you do want to get yourself an arc survival evolved arc survival evolved arc survival ascended server you can still use the code loaded crisis all one word link in the description down below for 10 percent off but anyway guys let's get in with the news so arc survival ascended so someone pretty much, this is to do a little bit more to do with PC, obviously at the moment, um, saying is the team like actually how or actually aware of how bad the servers on PC are at the moment? Um, I'm really liking people in the comment section, if you are playing PC, giving those updates and what it's like, because Dolly said, haha, I'm not laughing at you. Just the fact I've been stressing over the memory situation heavily whilst engineers pull extra time on it. Yeah, we're aware and it's current top priority for Steam Live Ops. So if you are on Steam and you are playing on the servers, this is your update from Wildcard. This is what's going on and it's top priority for the Steam Lives Op team. Anyway, next, uh, someone said, do you think the breeding range is going to be increased in the future? Right now, it's really hard to breed most things, even 1-1 one -one because of how short it is. And Dolly actually goes on to say, yeah, I th uh, that wasn't intended. It's on my list. Just prioritizing critical stuff at the moment. We'll get back. It will get it into a build as soon as we can. So this will be something in a new update to come. Um, and then PlayStation players, this is for you on the release date. So someone said, can you confirm the end of November? Sorry, just, uh, you know, trying to get an update. And Dolly comes back and says, we're still shooting for that. And it looks feasible. I'm hesitant to confirm beyond that just yet. Sorry. We need to work through more things with our partner. So PlayStation players, where I'd probably be right now if I were you is just not really thinking too much about the launch. I, I don't know. It's really sad to say that, to be honest. I don't want to say that. But the reason why is I just want to be completely honest with you guys is right now wildcard are still shooting and for that day it's as she said it looks feasible but again we're at this sort of point where you just never know do you know what i mean with wildcard like i have this like bad feeling that it, i mean the thing is extra life is is december 2nd and this kind of puts like that contract thing back in place you know when we were waiting for launch before october for uh for the pc um wildcard had to release it um because they were in some sort of contract with nitrado this kind of feels like that for extra life because there's no way that so they delayed it a month for console players because there is no way they can release the do the extra life event without having the console launch uh because well on p on playstation because like it'll be way too it'll be impossible for playstation players to ever catch back up because you guys know at extra life there is you can get up to like times 12 rates on the official server network and it only lasts for 24 hours like the rates over time but it's just not going to be possible if they don't get it. So I do think it will launch before de December 2nd. They have to hit that date, but they're never going to put a date on things because it's too risky. You know, Wildcard will miss dates. They can never actually officially say a date. I think that's why as well, when they knew the Xbox partner preview was coming up, they just released it straight on PC because they just don't like giving dates because they will never hit dates. I'll never understand why. I just still feel very confused why they can't do this because so many other gaming companies put dates on things and yes delays happen but like wildcard can literally not hit a date it's really weird <laughs> um but anyway again someone said please stop ducking the question of the 14th on xbox and dolly said okay i'll repeat we are currently on track for the 14th i say currently because software is a hundred percent sure so yeah it's still all planned for Tuesday, the console launch. Nothing's been delayed. I think we're going to be okay for this one, guys. Again, same applies to PlayStation, you know, with what was going on with PlayStation. Just 
I know the thing I get frustrated. I've seen so many people saying I've booked, like someone said to me, I've booked the 12th to the 15th off. Really can't wait for the grind. And it does worry me sometimes because like, uh, you know, it, you could get a delay, which when someone books time off, they can't get, they can't like get, change that time so close to the delay. So I think we're going to be all good for console launch. I don't think anything will change there. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's what you need to know. That's currently all on track. So both PlayStation and Xbox are still on track for what their release dates were meant to be, but just be just just don't get too excited you know until the actual day i will keep xbox players updated with all of the news on tuesday so watch out for that now this is the big big thing to talk about today so this person said have you looked into the possibility of having a pre-download version of the xbox console launch available to people due to steam players being able to join the servers prior to console people being able to download it some people have extend have extended download time uh, ex i think they meant to say extended download time due to bad internet that may cause an unfair advantage for the people that already have the game installed Installed. and this again is a huge point um i said at the beginning like um it was frustrating not being able to download the pc uh, version as a pre-download when it first came out because i was like uh, that was the longest night of my entire life i think from this from that day the 25th into the 26th of october i didn't sleep and i have never done that before well i did end up sleeping and having a tiny nap but just all through the night because i had to then also wait for the game to download on my pc and uh, but this is a very very good point to highlight because once the xbox version goes live and the console version goes live steam players will literally be able to because they, they get it day one they'll be able to hop straight onto the server and they can just do stuff already and that is what is worrying me so dolly did go on to respond saying we hope to take this route not sure if we can as yet as of yet though so they are looking to do this. They want to take this route for pre-download. I do think this is crucial, like especially from reading this point. I think this has to happen, and it has to happen for PlayStation Two, um, because it, day one Steam for PlayStation on launch and Xbox, you can't have PC players playing the game before the console players. You know, playing on the console servers before the console players. It's just. I don't know. It does worry me a little bit, but I really hope Wildcard have got things planned in that sense of things. Um, and then pretty much this was the community crunch that came out last night. It was very, very boring. It was uh, obviously had, it's always got some great stuff from the community in, but in the sense of news, it was boring. So they said the creativity and resourcefulness of survivors, both old and new, as they find new homes on the island has been truly inspiring. The content and experiences you've been sharing with us are as always beyond anything we could anticipate. This week, we tackled a number of bugs and exploits, including a fix for a bug where baby dinos were falling through the map. We've made more progress towards increasing the performance and stability of servers, but our work there isn't done yet. We've also started to tackle some of the bugs we've seen reported across our various social platforms. Thank you for your reports. Keep your eyes on patch notes to see some of those pesky bugs get zapped over the coming weeks. We're looking forward to seeing the console survivors dive into Ark Survival Ascended, so stay tuned for more information on the ASA launch for Xbox next week. To our PlayStation survivors, we're urgently working with our partners and look forward to sharing a launch date as soon as we are able to. So yeah, um, as I said, all seems to be on track for what was said from the beginning on console. Ever since PC launched, um, everything is, has been pretty much the same. Let's hope none of that changes because as I've already said, to do with Extra Life, it just won't be possible to do that event unless all platforms are out. Really, 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 really excited to read the comments in the video today to see what you guys think on what's going on right now. Um, but yeah, that gives you your Saturday update on Ark Survival Ascended console version and a few little bits for the PC. Thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video very soon. See you guys then.